I'm really getting tired of filming these kinds of videos, but I'm on the side of the road and I think railroad track just ate an oil pan. Yep, that definitely smells like oil. Yep. Can you see that oil trail? All the way back to that railroad track. Unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable. A little bit of a little bit of good luck would be nice. Just a little bit. Let's see how much oil is left in this thing. Bone dry. Unreal. <sighs> yep. Unbelievable. And I'm a perpetual optimist. I'm a very positive person, but this is getting, whew, man, really getting beat down right now. Well, time to call Rich. Not sure if you can see it that way, but can you see it that way? Man. That'll do. I don't know where the pieces of my oil pan went, but maybe we'll find them on the way. Man. Well, I sure done it good this time, boys. Sure done it good this time. Um, obviously there's no oil left in my car because it's all right here on the highway or on the road. Um, no oil pressure, but it didn't run no oil pressure for long. So hopefully no engine damage. We just put some, uh, a new oil pan in it and, uh, we're good. If I'm lucky. <laughs> uh, am I lucky? I don't know. I, I don't know. This should be... Um... Oh, man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just a couple of days of good things going happening would be really, really nice. What about a yellow grasshopper? I don't know guys, what's the what's the solution here? What's the fix? Just put an oil pan on it, put oil in it, crank it up. Hope for the best. I don't know that I can do an oil pan on this car without dropping the subframe or pulling the motor out of it. I'll have to look that up. And at that point in time, is the juice worth the squeeze? I'm not in this car for a ton of money. I've got 
three thousand dollars all in on it something like that four thousand dollars all in on it so <laughs> man this is not what i was expecting today <sighs> just coming back from lunch coming back from lunch i don't normally come this way i was headed down 161 it's a truck that hit the brand new roundabout that they installed over there and jackknifed his trailer up around the corner and uh, so I had to reroute over this direction I didn't hit that railroad track very hard but apparently that railroad spike is high enough in the jounce of my tr of my suspension that's it so I don't know what the option is here I guess it's time to start calling finding out what an oil pan for one of these things costs and what kind of hours I'm looking at as far as labor goes. And then I gotta figure out a time to be able to get the car on a rack. <sighs> Cause you know, I seem to have plenty of free time. I just want you guys to know, I don't do this stuff for the funsies. I don't do this for clicks. This is not clickbait. This is not intentional stuff. This is just real life, man. This is just how it is. Yeah, it's fun doing YouTube stuff. It is. It's fun having a whole fleet of cars and all that kind of stuff. It is. But it's also real painful and very friggin' expensive. The problem with having a fleet of cars is you have to maintain a fleet of cars. Now, this is just kind of a stupid freaking problem, but overall, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I'll call Dave. Hey, I've got a 2001 uh, Volkswagen Passat 1.8 turbo. Mm -hmm. I need an oil pan. I don't know anybody. Do you happen to have any idea on what it's going to take labor-wise for that? Why are you calling me off? <laughs> I just want to know what level of screwed I am. Uh, let's, let's just take a look and see what... What am I looking at for labor hours? 2001. Yeah, it's front wheel drive, 1.8T, front wheel drive, manual transmission. Yeah, I'm all right. Appreciate it. Yeah, I hope so. A lot of nice people out here in the country have stopped and asked if I'm doing all right. It's like, that's like the eighth person. Well, they, they all are kind of curious, and then I point out the very long line of oil on the road behind me in the railroad track, and it becomes rather obvious. Five hours. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how much the gasket is. I might be able to get that in. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to need to call Mag and see if we can get an oil pan for it. Probably, but you got to have the van. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you a picture yeah. of the van. Right. Yeah, broke my oil pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send you the VIN, thanks. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again? <laughs> $340. And how long? Three, four weeks, or maybe even longer. They're not sure. So I got the part number, and I went oh. to Rock Auto, and I stuck it in there. You can buy a doorman for $55. Yeah... Uh, so I'm just letting you know that there is other options. Yeah, but if nobody has one anywhere nearby, that means I can't fix this car anytime soon. Um, nobody has it around here. I can make another call, but let me make, let me make one more call. I didn't call this place. Yeah, Sorry. see if anybody, because ideally I like need to fix this right today because technically I need this car for this weekend to haul a bunch of stuff in. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but let me see. Thank you. Uh, hey, Katrina. Uh, how, how bad did you need to use the the Volkswagen to haul stuff to your uh, your crafty event? Is it is it is it 
you gotta have it or you'd like to have it, honey. I bought you something while I was at lunch. This is potentially going to get very, very dirty here very shortly. Because uh, that guy is headed my way. And I think he's cutting stripes this direction. I don't think he's really orienting. We'll see. Oh, nope. He's turning. All right, right on. Wait, maybe not. I don't know. This is gonna get dusty. I think it's best if I take cover now. Also, my car is now completely filthy. <laughs> Always look on the broad side of life. Can't script this stuff, boys. Live action as it comes. Now some of you ask, Austin, why don't you just stay in your car? Oh my god. It's gonna be great things for my allergies. Austin, why don't you just stay in your car? Well, the answer is because it's like 85 degrees out here, and with no oil in my engine, I cannot run said engine to run said air conditioning to keep fat bearded guy cool. So I'm gonna work on my tan out here in the uh lovely cornfields of Ohio. Well, these aren't cornfields, these are bean fields, but you get what I'm saying. Hopefully Rich comes to save me again. You know, somebody actually mentioned the other day, uh, I'm not gonna mention you by name, but that so much of my content is Rich coming to save me. And that's true, that does happen. It happens a lot. Just talking to this gentleman here that's running the, uh, the trailer and rough year for the bean guys. Um, rough year for really anybody that's trying to grow stuff. Apparently we haven't had any measurable rain here since August or since, yeah, August the 2nd, which is like a month and a half. So this is way early to be, uh, cutting beans and definitely going to affect their yield, which sucks. Uh, and also they did apologize to me, which is great. I appreciate it guys. There's nothing for you to apologize about. You're out here working and doing your thing and I'm in your environment. So. Don't worry about it. I'll duck back in the car when I need to. Which is probably about now. Like a sandstorm sweeping in off the desert. Hey, there's Rich again. Always coming to rescue me. I promise I'm not this dumb. I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm just unlucky. Just unlucky. Are you trying to jump the tracks? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the trail. It's much more obvious from the other direction. I bet. Yeah. I'm gonna buy 
one car. It's going to be under warranty. I'm going to sell everything else I own. This, cha this channel is now just going to be about me driving around in a new car, eating food. That's it. We're, re we're rebranding the channel. It's Food Adventures with Austin in Automotives. That's what it'll be from now on. Nobody breaks down this often. Nobody suffers this many failures. Unbelievable. Oh. You see anything wrong with my old panel right down there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So what do you think the chances are that all I need to do is put an oil pan on it? Oh, well, it depends on how quickly you can shut it off. Uh, from about there to here. Yeah, I think it's probably alright. <laughs> Good thing you work for a guy who has a tow truck. Two. Interesting question. Have we towed everything I own? No, I haven't towed your cyclone. Technically, I don't own that. I haven't towed your green car. Or the stealth, the, or the, or the black. Uh, well, the one that doesn't, the blowout not, motor. Not the snap, so. Well, technically, they both they both came on your trailer, though. Well, they came on my trailer. They, they didn't get towed by me. Uh, lesson, lesson learned is always have a friend with a truck, trailer, or a tow truck. Especially if you're me. She's leaving evidence behind. <laughs> Don't need any DNA tests to know where that came from. Ah. And we're out of here before that guy comes back again. <laughs> well, here we are again. Austin with another vehicle on the wrecker. Um, gonna try to see if I can hunt down an oil pan. It's probably not gonna happen today. Probably not gonna happen tomorrow. But the other big question that we really truly need to answer is, that car's got almost 200,000 miles on it. Guarantee you it's the original bearings. Uh, looking up the quick little R&R &R on how to do a oil pan on this thing, you do use either an engine hoist or an engine brace and you do drop the subframe to do this. So if you're gonna do that, you're essentially engine out servicing this thing. <sighs> Does it make sense to just put an oil pan on it and hope it works? Or do you do some redneck repair <laughs> and uh, fix it with some questionable mechanicking? It's an option, I guess. Or do I just punt the car and move on? Because... I have lots of other pieces of junk sitting around here. And uh, I don't really need to have that car. I guess, why well, that one's down, I need to work on fixing my Pontiac 5 GT and getting it back up and running because it also is a wagon and a manual transmission and gets 30 miles to the gallon. And it's reasonably reliable. So, we'll end this here. What do you guys think I should do? Tell, let me know. Clearly, I am not great at making decisions. And things are not going in my favor today. What would you do? What would you advise? <sighs> Welcome to another automotive adventure with Austin. My own little personal corner of the YouTube internets. This is where I work on my own stuff. My collection of vehicles and nights and weekends and afternoons where I'm broken down in the middle of the country. Oddly, if you're paying attention, uh, that was maybe an eighth of a mile from where I broke down in the uh, AMX the other day. Same exact location, just around the corner uh, at, at the stop sign. So Maybe I should just not drive back over there again. Anyways, guys, thank you. 
Appreciate you being here. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.